Will football running back Cam Scadaboo be able to physically and psychologically come back from his chilling, severe ankle injury? And how badly does it hurt for your foot to be nearly torn off your leg? First, we're not going to show what happened to his dislocated ankle, up close at least, but I will instead describe what sadly happened. Now, let's get started. <laughs> It's a, it's, a it's a daily thing. He sounded like a, a big choo-choo train. 23-year-old Cam Scadaboo was one of the New York Giants' most promising rookies this season. City right now is Cam Scadaboo. Where some thought he could be the NFL's Rookie of the Year. He was known for playing with extreme physicality and really used his head. He would put his brother's shoulder pads on, then he would run into telephone poles. Look at Cam Scadaboo's helmet. This dude is on a different level of existence than the rest of these guys. However, during the recent Giants vs. Philadelphia Eagles game, Jackson Dart threw Scadaboo the football. Scadaboo leaped up to catch it, but an Eagles defender began tackling him midair. As they both fell to the ground, Scadaboo's right foot was first to land on the field. bearing the full combined weight of both players. When they all completely hit the ground, the defensive player was completely on Scadaboo's twisted ankle. So Scadaboo quickly yanks it out to sadly reveal that his ankle was in really bad shape. He apparently experienced an open lateral right talocrural dislocation with fracture on impact. In other words, after the play was over, Scadaboo found his right foot twisted 90 degrees all the way to the right, with his shin pointing forward, causing the dislocation and fracture to reportedly at least partially cause a break in his skin. Therefore, in even more simple language, his right foot was nearly twisted right off his leg. As you can imagine, this type of injury is extremely painful. The talocrural or ankle joint is not designed to withstand stand high rotational forces, and a dislocation with fracture often results in intense ligament damage, nerve involvement damage, and a strong pain response from both the dislocated joint and surrounding damaged tissue. As we see in the footage from the game, it appears Scadaboo knew his foot was being painfully twisted, which is why he immediately yanked it out. However, psychologically, it takes at least one or two seconds to fully understand what just happened. In those moments, the brain is flooded with adrenaline and shock, often leading to confusion of what happened and what he should do. He certainly knew something was terribly wrong with his foot, as he felt a surge of pain when the defender landed on it, then when he pulled it out from underneath the defender, and when he looked at it, he sadly came to the quick realization of how badly damaged it was. If you notice here, as soon as he first looks at it, he slaps his helmet while then looking away in pain, anger, and disbelief. Obviously, he was experiencing a lot of emotions at that moment. Painful because his body is finally starting to react to the pain, angry because this may be the end of his season, and disbelief because everyone, including him, has such high hopes for him for this season. Here's Scadaboo to the end zone! Led the way, Scadaboo! When his teammates came over to help up Scadaboo, number 74 noticed something was extremely wrong, causing him to emphatically wave to his sideline for medical help to come onto the field. When number 82 comes over to help Scadaboo up, likely because he didn't notice what happened to his ankle, Scadaboo puts out his hands like he can just be helped up and just walked off the field. Oh, no, his ankle. Oh, no. But then sadly comes back to the realization that this is not an ankle sprain, but something quite severe. Psychologically, that moment when he put his hands out to be helped up was out of habit and likely Scadaboo experiencing an acute stress response with denial. In the middle of that adrenaline surge, it's not uncommon for injured athletes to initially and temporarily convince themselves it might not be that bad, even when the injury is clearly catastrophic. 
A dislocated ankle with fracture often is described as feeling like a near immediate sharp and overwhelming pressure pain that radiates through their lower leg. Since the joint was severely dislocated along with likely nerve damage, it may initially feel as if his foot was completely torn off because the connection between his foot and leg is disrupted so violently that the brain sometimes interprets it as a limb separation. It sad and was likely quite scary for Scadaboo because at that moment when it first happened, Scadaboo probably thought his foot was nearly just torn completely off. However, when he looks down and sees his foot still attached, though twisted completely 90 degrees to the right, his vision confirms why he likely felt his foot was completely detached. It's because it became nearly detached, causing the emotional shock and disbelief we sadly saw from him on the field. His recovery from something that severe will likely be many months because he will likely require possibly two or more surgeries. Our ankles are extremely complex, made up of multiple bones, tendons, and ligaments that work together to support our body weight and allow movement and absorb impact, and that's especially the case for football players. Damage to any of these structures, and in Scadaboo's case, pretty much all of them, especially in a high force injury like this, can lead to long-term instability, decreased range of motion, and reduce athletic performance. After surgery, he'll slowly begin a gradual physical therapy program to restore mobility, strength, and balance in the joint. Full recovery may take many months to even a year depending on the extent of the ligament damage, nerve involvement, and how his body responds to rehabilitation. Also, he may sadly experience long-term limitations in his physical ability and speed, particularly if there's lasting stiffness, habitual pain, reduced ankle stability, or incomplete nerve recovery. These outcomes may negatively impact his ability to make quick directional changes, explosive speed, and overall athletic performance, especially for a position like running back that relies heavily on lower body power and agility. A spectacular run by Cam Scadaboo! However, given that Scadaboo is quite young and likely has a high desire to recover, that will likely favorably impact his ability to fully recover. In addition to his physical recovery, Cam Scadaboo will likely need to recover psychologically because a traumatic injury like a severe dislocated ankle where his foot nearly came off his leg can fundamentally alter an athlete's confidence and mindset. Number 44. Woo! 44, that's me! Get some cold cuts. A severe injury like that doesn't just damage their body, it shakes their belief in their ability to perform. Even after surgery and many months of rehab, many athletes carry the fear that it could happen to them again. That fear doesn't always go away, even when the pain of the injury does. It may psychologically create some hesitation, especially for a running back, which can disrupt his carefree invincibility performance that has made him so successful. Hands it off to Scadaboo, big hole, Scadaboo, Scadaboo! For Scadaboo, who built his reputation on explosiveness, toughness, and physical dominance. Intense, physical, hard running. Fierce, competitive, rare. He's constantly proving that I am the guy. Almost like he's never fearing getting hurt and then suddenly getting severely hurt, his psychological rehabilitation could be just as challenging as the physical rehabilitation. After such an unexpected life-changing injury, wouldn't you feel at least a little scared that it will happen again? Here's Godwin for a first down. We've seen this with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receiver Chris Godwin. Oh no. Who suffered a left ankle dislocation in the 2024 NFL season and required surgery. We are not going to show the replay. He was carted off the field and missed the remainder of the year. In the months since, he's been working to come back physically and was activated off the disabled list in 2025. Because he still has metal plates and screws in the ankle is that when you're trying to run routes, they don't exactly want to cooperate. A lot of the times, the some of the screws or some of the plates just start to rub and, and cause some problems. So he hasn't really done a whole lot since he's been on the field. But he still remains in recovery. And they said it's a different part of the bone from when he injured it last year, which tells me that this is a compensation injury. Don't count on him this year at all. While he has not publicly detailed every aspect of the psychological side of his recovery, it's common for athletes with injuries of this type to face not just physical rehabilitation, but also mental hurdles, like fear of re-injury, hesitation in movement, and rebuilding trust in their body. I don't know if he's ever gonna be the same player, but this is how complicated this injury was, especially for a route runner. Athletes like Scadaboo who sustain these major 
major injuries will have to work not only to repair the injury, but to rebuild trust and confidence in their own movement and their body's resilience and stop reliving the moment their career nearly changed forever. That's why elite level recovery plans, like in professional sports, increasingly include sports psychologists and mental skills coaches who guide athletes through trauma processing, visualization, and cognitive reframing strategies. The goal isn't just returning to play, it's returning to who they were before the injury, or in some cases, becoming someone even stronger. Scadaboo's next challenge will likely be invisible to the fans who are watching from the stands, but it will sadly be a lot of psychological and physical rehabilitation. We all wish him a speedy recovery and hope that his psychological rehabilitation is also part of his treatment plan too. Now in the comments, have you had a major injury and were you able to fully recover or did you always feel like you were never the same again? Let everyone know in the comments below. Subscribe for more and if you want exclusive content and channel perks, you can hit that join button below because your support makes all of this possible so sad. You know, Arizona State is one of the schools that I'm an alumni from, and that's where Cam Scadaboo played a lot of his college football career, and the Giants are my favorite NFL football team. Personally, I was so excited for how well Scadaboo was doing, and even if you don't like the Giants or anything, you have to respect Scadaboo and how much of a dog he was. Like, he was just willing to do anything, you know? Just lowered his head and just plow through and figure out a way to gain some extra yards. Many thought Scadaboo was going to be Rookie of the Year. It was so exciting to see him play and to see this happen. It's so sad and so sad that that's part of the game. See you next time.